Namaste everyone. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com and BodyMindSoulSpirit.com and today I'm taking you inside the headquarters of N5D um, and this is basically it. I work from my living room. So here we are uh, looking around at my living room, okay? Got a little seashell thing there. I love this. It says in Siesta Key, if you're not barefoot, then you're overdressed. Uh, yep, I totally agree. <laughs> I'm usually barefoot like 99% of the time, even when I go to, to the beach. Uh, here's my thermostat. I keep that, right now it's at 75. Normally I keep it anywhere between 74 and 77. Um, I lowered it yesterday because I had an N5D Facebook Live and it, right in the middle of the Facebook Live I had to get up and turn the air on because uh, I was sweating profusely. So I've got this big old TV here that's probably gathering dust. I rarely ever use it. Um, have no use for it really, except for I do watch uh, football, as many of you know, and the 20 things you might not know about me. Yeah, I do like watching NFL, American football, but it's a long time from now until football season's on, so this TV won't get watched for a while. So we've got my little these are amazing, okay? These are Bose um, headphones, uh, and they, they kind of go right in your, the, the pointy part goes to the front of, front of your ear like that. So we just go, go in like that, and it's super comfortable. And, you know, sometimes you, you, know, you put these uh, earbuds in and they're just, you gotta stick them all the way in and sometimes they pop out. These don't pop out. You can go for long walks with them and uh, you're good to go. So I've got my sunglasses. This is what I have for the beach. Now, it's my little clicker and my keys and then my car keys here. But um, when I go to the beach, I always grab this stuff right here. My keys and my clicker to get in and out. Always keep my cigarettes. Yes, I smoke cigarettes. Uh, American Spirit Gold, organic. Keep them by the door. There's the front door right there. So, but the keys, this is like, you know, I, I was talking about this one time on an N5D, I think it was a Facebook Live, that did you ever put your stuff down in one spot and you always know where it is? Well, that's where I always know where it is. If these keys, are moved if they're in a different spot I know that there's a Mandela effect going on okay so I wonder if you guys are experiencing stuff like that if you put stuff in the same spot all the time and you know all of a sudden you know say it's like over there on the table or something you know and you know darn well that you didn't move that there okay so anyway this is my little house I've got my salt lamps going I love this, this uh, get down there and show you guys. This cathedral, it's an amethyst cathedral. It's just absolutely stunning. My little meditation table with the ashes from <laughs> some of my incense. And I got all, all these cards here. And what do we have? We have the Goddess, Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards by Dorian Virtue. This one's upside down, but it's uh, Diane Cooper's Angels of Light Cards. And then we have The Spirit Messages by John Holland. And Mermaids and Dolphins Oracle Cards. And we have Ascension Cards below that by Diane, Diana Cooper. And we've got a bunch of incense there, another salt lamp. Um, <laughs> beach gear. Um, if I'm going to the beach without my cart, I just take a chair. I also bring one of my guitars with me. This just happens to be my Fernandez that's in here. You guys have seen me play that. This is my little musical area. There's a djembe drum right underneath one of my amps. And there's another guitar that is getting worked on right now. <laughs> so I actually have to send this off to a friend of mine. Uh, one of my guitar racks. Uh, external speaker that I can plug into my keyboard. Oh, and over here, check this out. 
I got this in Cozumel. This is the new Mayan calendar. You notice that it's different. And it picks up where time left off on December 21st, 2012. So if you see the, the serpent here, that's a sign of protection for the Mayans. It's a very powerful and positive uh, symbol. And then I have this set up where I've got my foot massager and it can do the heated foot massage. And I've got the shiatsu back massager too. So, you know, when you're sitting down and working like I do, I usually work anywhere from, gosh, eight to 15 plus hours a day. I've been trying to cut it down. Usually it's like 10 to 15 plus hours a day. But uh, yeah, that's what I end up, whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> that's what I end up doing and, you know, to have this along with the, the back massager and the foot massager. It, it does a number, and this is why I have to force myself, and I'm not kidding people when I, when I tell you that I have to force myself when I, go, when I go to the beach. And you'll see me posting a lot on uh, my personal Facebook page about, you know, here I am at the beach or, you know, a walk of gratitude or something like that. I have to because this is what I do. I love doing what I do, absolutely. I love uh, bringing you guys the best information I can possibly give you. But I also need to get out, I need to ground, I need you know, personal time to get the blood circulating. Um, so let's twist that around right here. So that's why I end up going, you know, using the back massager because I am sitting down a lot. Now, this is one of my tables and you'll see a common theme here, um, like right by the door. I have a, a Buddha here and palm tree here. I've got lots of palm trees. I, I like it beachy. But there's a story about the palm trees. If you guys haven't heard, my spirit guide um, told me a wonderful um, thing about palm trees. But first I have to preface this by saying that I was born and raised in upstate New York in the Catskill Mountains. and always had this affinity to palm trees and the ocean, and I didn't know why. I always thought that I was a California guy trapped in a New York body. So, eventually I ended up moving to Florida with my daughter and uh, my ex-wife and my daughter's mother and her ex-husband. <laughs> and uh, I think it was about 2000, eight or so uh, when I had this dream and I met my spirit guide in, in my dream and she had long black flowing hair and she looked like she was uh, maybe a Mexican a North American Indian of some of some tribe I'm not sure but here she is you know and I've, I've got my chance she introduces herself she goes Hi Greg, my name is Tamara, I'm your spirit guide, and here I am, I can ask my spirit guide anything in the world. So what do I do? I repeat her name over and over and over again. So I'm like, Tamara, 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 Tamara. And I said it so many times that I woke myself up out of my sleep. <laughs> so here I am at like three o'clock in the morning. Tamara probably thinks I'm an idiot for just saying her name over and over again. But you know, every name has meaning. So I looked up Tamara, and the meaning of Tamara means palm tree. So that's why I have palm tree pictures, uh, palm tree TV stand. I've got palm tree um, coasters. Whoops. Whoops, sorry about that one. <laughs> but underneath my little own coaster, I've got palm tree coasters so <laughs> anyway moving on
Thank you.